To understand the possibility of a once green Antarctica, we need to journey back to the Eocene epoch, roughly 56 to 34 million years ago. During this time, Antarctica was in roughly the same position it is today, yet the global climate was significantly warmer. Fossil evidence from this period reveals lush rainforests, populated by diverse flora and fauna. The breakup of the supercontinent Pangaea, and later Gondwana, played a crucial role in shaping Antarctica's climate. As continents drifted apart, ocean currents shifted, eventually leading to the formation of the Antarctic Circumpolar Current. This current, as described by geologists, effectively isolated Antarctica, setting the stage for its eventual glaciation. The formation of the Drake Passage between Antarctica and South America further contributed to this isolation. Towards the end of the Eocene, or the beginning of the Oligocene, the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, the largest ocean current in the world, began to form. This current acted as a thermal barrier, preventing warmer waters from reaching the continent and contributing to its cooling. Fossil evidence from the Eocene paints a vivid picture of a vastly different Antarctica. Forests of beech, conifers and ferns thrived in a warm, humid climate. These fossils, including those of ancient plants and pollen, provide tangible proof that Antarctica was once a green and vibrant land.